So uh, I'll do um, one I wrote about um, an all-you-can-eat buffet. Now, this is because, uh, I, I guess, because I'm, I, now I would fall into the tight-ass category if there was one, you know, if there was a golden guitar at Tamworth for that, uh, I'd definitely win. And uh, I enjoy being frugal. I enjoy, we've got food works just across the road from us because uh, my wife and I, we live right in the CBD of Yak and Dander. <laughs> and uh, there's a food works supermarket over there and I'm in there all the time. Three or four times a day I go over there because it's like, it's, it's like a pantry that you just got to pay to get stuff out of. It's just that convenient. And, um, and you know, when, when meat starts changing colour, they put a big reduce sticker on it. Um, and and some, this is one of my other tips I was telling people at Tamworth. Like, if you go to Coles or Woolies there and they've got chooks, uh, those chooks in the bags there, well, if you go in at, say, 4pm and there's been a chook sitting in there since 10am, they put a big reduce sticker on it. And might, they might sell it for $4.50 or 5 bucks or something like that. So sometimes I'm hit with a moral dilemma when I get in there because I... Again, I only need one chook, but there might be four, or f you know, five of them that have been reduced, and they've all got the sticks on them. So what I do is I get the chook that I want, and then I peel the reduced stickers off the other bags <laughs> and put them in my wallet to use on other chickens at other times. You know? <laughs> and uh, I, you've got to be careful. I've come undone when I've put a coal sticker on a Woolies chook. That, that throws them out at the checkout. But um, all these little ways of saving money in the supermarket, anything from that through to uh, self-checkout, you're buying avocados, put them through as brown onions. You save a lot of money that way too. <laughs> now, um, this song is this food... <laughs> food related a <laughs> few little ding oh I tried that next time um, um, th this is a food related song so it's the all you can eat buffet which to me is fabulous because once you pay your 30 bucks to get in it's like all the foods free and um, that's how I view it anyway so I, I do my best to eat 50 or 60 bucks worth of food when I'm in there that's the challenge I reckon and I think that's what most people are trying to do I went on a cruise, um, I was work there's a cru this thing called Cruise and Country, it's like a Tamworth festival on a ship and we go out to the islands and everything. I was working on this and they've got a, up the top they've got a huge buffet called Windjammer and um, it's, it's enormous and I think, hell of a name for a, a, a um, somewhere where you stuff in your face. So people walk past with these plates of food and you look at, because there's just sat that much food there and people get sort of, whoa. They're a bit overwhelmed and then they get really used to it. And then there's the buffet professionals that go past you with this plate of food. If they were countries, they'd be at war, you know, and you think, oh. And I look at these plates of food going past and I think, well, it's going to look pretty much the same in two hours. <laughs> and, um, but that's only the first trip and they come back for the second time and the third time. And they do what all the professionals do and they offset it all with a zero Coke. So as if that's going to dissolve a lot. So... Uh, it's the all you can eat buffet, the all you can eat buffet. I realise it's disgusting, but I go there every day. And while I'm there, I've got a plan to eat as much food as I can, stack it high upon my tray at the all you can eat buffet. I grab a roast potato, in fact, I think I will. It's really been deep fried, but a little bit won't kill. Gonna have some cheesy pasta and a bit of bolognese, some gravy on the top. Oh man, I love buffets. Get a piece of deep fried fish and a couple of chicken wings and I'll pour a splash of this on some of these little things. How about some Asian food? Some beef in black bean sauce. Now that's me entree done. The next lot will be main course. It's the all you can eat buffet. The all you can eat buffet. I realise it's disgusting but I go there every day. I just grab a tray and do the round, slick my food and shovel it down. No point doing things halfway at the all you can eat buffet. Roasted pork and a little bit of roasted beef and a few of these garlic prawns for a little bit of beef and reef. Spoonful of brown goulash looks great, don't you agree? And here's some tuna bait for my omega three. I go to the salad bar. Some beetroot might be nice. I don't want to overdo it, so I only get one slice. And just to be a bit healthy, I get some lettuce too. I go back to the table and eat my lovely food. It's the all you can eat buffet. The all you can eat buffet. I realise it's disgusting, but I go there every day. And through the casseroles I dig, and no one cares if I'm a pig. My self esteem is a okay at the all you can eat buffet. Oh, I forgot to get the oysters. Ah, oh, I forgot to get some ham. I forgot the grated cheese. Oh, I forgot to get. 
get some lamb. Too bad I've got to move on. I'm going to get dessert. I'm feeling full up, but I've got to get my money's worth. I drive back home a gurgling, digesting all the way. Prawn cocktail, mayonnaise, and raspberry souffle. I'm coming back tomorrow to fill my hungry tongue with everything that's yum. Guilt free pig out, here I come. It's the all you can eat buffet. The all you can eat buffet. I realise it's disgusting, but I go there every day. I just stand in line and pay my fee, and after that, everything's free. A pepperoni, no more to pay at the all you can eat buffet.